Ah. Apa uban? Ichi boy Kenneth. Mana si Kenneth? Janieno. Hmm. Apa uban? Oh, si Ichi boy. Where's the rest? Janieno. So kamu ang first batch. Uh, Lain apa kau baca first batch kay nabi lay plus ke? <laughs> ah, sege. Uh, I will. This will be the first batch. Okay. Tak kau sang ipik kau an. Ipis. Okay. Hmm. So. You can now close, okay? So I will now give you my, I will share you my screen for our orientation. Minute, okay. Okay, so I hope you had already seen my presentation. So this is now our orientation. As I have said, I am Nivita Castile Mapata, and we will be together for the whole semester. You know? Feel free to message me anytime that you have some concerns. So what's the course description? Of course, this is the same as. No? This is the basic. Now, this is the basic course, which is the basic course in the engineering. And this it starts with the fundamental chemistry concepts, especially in organic chemistry. Actually, this is in organic chemistry. One. Okay. So the topic discussed here is a little bit wide than the chem 16. And unlike with CAM 16, we will start with the basic. Here, it's not basic. It will start with the atomic and molecular concept, then the periodic table and periodicity, then chemical bonding, kinetics, and reaction rates. Take a look. About that, that kinetics and reaction rate, that is mostly problem solving. Then we have the chemical equilibrium, which is again problem solving. We're in. We will in Chem 16. We could not come up to this topic. Kamu taas kayo. Then we have the solubility, and we even introduce a special topic such as electrochemistry and nuclear chemistry. This is an enhanced topic, which is mandatory from the CHED order. That's the CHED order. FCCD US 002 Revised 106 2020. It's latest. We're in the topic nuclear chemistry and electrochemistry should be included in the engineering chemistry. Of course, this course is specially designed for engineering students and this topic, of course, is in line with the application the in, in engineering field. Okay. And the laboratory experiment here is different from the laboratory experiment, which is usually given in the CAM 16, because mostly this is an application. So that is the course description of chemistry for engineers. So what? are its requirements what are its formative and summative assessment okay that's the requirements of course we will have three or two depending actually but in most cases we only have two major exams now that major exam is the midterm and the finals and no problem because this should be announced a week before the exam date and this is not departmental. Ah, oh, yeah, departmental for all CAM 15, not CAM 16. Meaning, CAM 15 will have the same exam. So if 
I think we ha we have how many sections for CAM 15? We have 10. So you will have the same exam, the same time, and the same date. Okay. And that will be announced a week before the exam. It's a departmental exam. The quizzes, of course, will be depending upon the discretion of the instructor. Depending the instructor if and the instructor will be giving oral recitation. No, but in my case, I don't think so. It's it will be tantamount of yeah, Luoy. Those who don't have a stable internet connection. So I don't give oral recitation. But in lieu to this, I always give many assignments. Yes, that's it. So that's the discretion of the instructor. So please do not compare CAM 15 from the other section because that is the discretion of the instructor, as I have said. You know? So no oral recitation for me because that is time consuming. What I will be giving you are assignments okay bahala mo unsa on your assignment basta kay nay assignment you can work in a group or you can alone as long as you know the concept and you know how to solve it that's it so the grading practices and policies of course students are encouraged to communicate with their instructor that is why at first hand i had given you i had invite you to our official uh, official messenger right? each of you i had included in our messenger our messenger is k15 section efg1 aware na mo anak no so but in case you want some personal matters that you are going to talk to me or message me you can have a personal yeah account and add me why did i not share no so the students are required to take all weekly assessment every week i always give an assignment and at the same time a quiz assignment asa butang sa lms the quiz i will announce it a day before then it will be in place in the google classroom that will be available that is our time is two o'clock that will be available only to two to five okay so in case i will be giving a quiz by monday next week so that will be you can open it exactly at two o'clock and end up at five o'clock that's it you are given three hours then you are given two attempts, uh, two attempts, okay. So two attempts, but the highest score will be, that is the one that I'm going to record, okay. Accepted is the highest score, that's it. There are videos for laboratory activities. At the same time, I do have videos for our lecture. So I will just upload it and it's up to you to listen to it. It's up to you to, it is your discretion. At the same time, it is a must for you to open it. Why? Because online, man, good down, mahimo, no? So that is it. So lab questions will be submitted, no? Na I demo, there is do it in your own. Na po siya, anak. So if you will be having a do it, it on your own possibly we will have it because it will be a little bit expensive for the materials so possibly i will have you into a group no that is it i will explain it further once we have our laboratory so as i have said ako may mugrado tanan sa lecture and the laboratory then okay what's this essay i don't know i could if i could give essay right an hour, no? Mostly because you are engineering student, it will be mostly on problem solving and discussion like that. No? So failure number five, failure to submit laboratory activities, worksheet on deadline, of course, there will be an in-core deduction. 
Okay, for laboratory, late submission of laboratory. Okay, so we have nine minutes na lang. Mo nang kalisod. Then, in case you have a missed exam or missed quiz, of course, and it's valid in case na sakit mo. Okay, no problem. We are very lenient on that. All you have to do is tell me, no? So, or kung naa mo, nagpa-hospital mo, you can upload to me your medical certificate for compliance. Okay, then I will give you the special quiz or special exam. As I have said, special quiz, sometimes ang yung kumuhatag, special quiz is only for those na sakit yun or there are personal reasons wherein it's beyond that you can take it. No? Very personal reason and very valid reason. Then, extension for deadlines, there are tendency. Because we are limited with connection, possibly in case there will be inaccessibility of the LMS. The black bamo, okay, of course, that should be shared also. No? And you will be given, you will receive the result for your assessment. Makitan mana, no? Sa Google Classroom, no? You will see your result, okay? How much score did you receive? But in most cases, kalisun mo was Google Classroom, but sometimes is the answer that is being in place there is very specific. So what I always do is I had to recheck. Gina recheck yun ako tanan. So, the ones, the quiz that you have submitted, I will recheck it because there are tendencies. It is a different word, but the same ang meaning, the same ang thought. Okay, that could be considered. That is number eight. Okay, number nine. Before the semester ends, of course, you should inquire. And at the same time, I always that is before the semester ends, before I compute the grade, I always in place all, no? I always, I always sit to it that my student will know that there are, no, there are requirements that they did not pass. Ako ginabutang. So, in your, and also you should also ask. What's the passing rate? It's 50%. Okay, Gamora 50. Okay, so here it is, the grading system. So, long exam, if that will be the case, we will have long exam that is for, actually this is prelim, that long exam here, prelim. Pero, hindi ko kahatag ana, what will happen is, we will have it here, this will be midterm and finals. So midterm and finals will be pila. 25-25. We'll have it. No? So midterm 25%, final exam 25%. Quizzes assignment no? is 50%. I also give 10% for the attendance. So it's only quizzes and assignment will be 40%. Attendance is 10%. Depending on the Discretion magunas siya sa instructor. And that will be, your lecture will be 60% of your grade. Pero gamay na magunas itong laboratory activities because we could not have it face-to-face. -face. So what I did, we had it among our colleagues. We had already agreed it that our laboratory will be 30% only of your grade. And 70% will be for your lecture okay then for laboratory as i have said your grade will be 70 percent from the lecture and 30 percent from the laboratory in the laboratory that will be 60 percent for the activities these activities are your report okay then your quizzes will be 20 percent there is a written exam most cases the written exam will be at the end Moranisha or final examination for the laboratory so i think that's the end no for our uh, what we call this 
for our orientation. Okay. So, do you have any question? So, I will. Okay. Do you have any question? You can now open. Will you please open your for the second? Okay. There are only 13 participants. Okay. Please. Oh. Please open your mic, uh, your microphone and your video. Let's have another picture for the second part. Hello? Please open your video. Okay, so here it is. So this is the second part. We will end. Then after that, go to the next link that I had given. We will start with our discussion with lecture one. Okay, so please open your camera for a line. Hmm. Uban. Okay. Okay. So we have still three minutes. Sige lang. Ah. Oh, you cannot close your video. Okay, let us start with pero maputulot at taot taot, no? That we have still we have still too many sayang po. That's the problem because I don't have a subscription with the Zoom. Mahal mga kayo. Okay, so here it is. So this is the introductory part. The introductory part actually is just a review of our lesson in your STEM. No, during your senior high. Okay. So, if you talk about chemistry, it will always start with a simple thought, and that is matter. Okay. So, even in the engineering designs, engineering designs involve matter. In what way? Especially if you will be a civil engineer, huh? in the civil engineering works, one of its application in the making of the building is paghalo dan sa cemento. That is mixture. Cemento, then bus, to big. Yeah, that is a mixture or a composition of water, cement, gravel, sand, like that. So if you don't know the correct measure, oh, what will happen? Lapsaw. Okay. And an application in the engineering. So engineering needs chemistry. Why? Because of the different, if you talk about matter, it comprises everything, diba? Everything, matter is anything that occupies space and has mass. So all of the object, all of the things which is needed in the engineering needs matter. Okay, so that is why chemistry is included in your curriculum. Okay, uh, less than one minute na lang ko, no? Sige lang. Then afterwards, we will go to the next link. Okay, so in order to study matter, what is needed is we should know it's, these are the different concepts about matter. The first one is you should know its composition. No? You should know its structure. You should know its reaction. You should know reaction meaning what will happen. Okay. You should know what things to come if you are going to mix 
different substances. Okay, so let us move on. So the study of matter, of course, if you talk about matter, what are the things that should be studied in a matter? Of course, it's composition. If you talk about composition, meaning what comprises that certain you know, object or certain substance. Composition, meaning if you talk about air that surrounding us, that is 79% of it is mostly oxygen that is 79% are other no other gases okay so that is what is meant by composition composition meaning what is the content even our body our body is 70% water and only 30% of this are those muscles so that is why in case we have a lost bowel movement, what happened is we need to replenish it with water. Why? Because the composition of, of our body is mostly 70% water. We could easily be dehydrated. That is what is meant by composition. Even alcoholic beverages. Alcoholic beverages, if you look into its content, proof 80 proof meaning that is divided by two that is 40 percent of that is alcohol and 60 percent of that is water even in the disinfectant the alcohol that we use as disinfectant you can see in the label that 70 percent ethyl alcohol what does it mean meaning that 70 percent alcohol and 30 percent of that is water it is diluted with water that is composition changes of matter is the reaction that will happen no? so in the reaction what is important is the transformation no? so once an ob once a substance will react what is important is its product no? so that product is now the transformation of the matter so that is the importance of chemistry and all of these things is present in engineering, even in any courses in engineering that geodetic like that or what engineering, still chemistry is applicable. Oh, so can you next? Uh, so for our next <clears throat> so why do we study chemistry okay if you look into this presentation you can see that chemistry is at the center why because chemistry is known as the central science what makes it central science meaning it is intertwined or interconnected with the different no? aspect in science and technology for instance the energy the technology biochemistry medicine even in agriculture wala ani nakitaan agriculture pero kinahanglan ra sa inyo kanira no so in what way chemistry is very important in energy and one of its application is the solar panel that is the transformation of this minute uh, particles uh, which will be converted which will absorb sun's energy then let later on no uh, that is the sun's energy later on that will be converted into electrons and these electrons will be conserved as a source of a cell okay then afterwards this will be used as a source of energy what makes it manung mahal ang solar panel because it is using a very yeah highly specific nga panel made of silicon okay treated treated and at the same time it's a fiberglass then treated with silicon okay that is 
in energy. Another kind of energy is the nuclear power plant. Yeah, the nuclear pl power plant, what happened is the geothermal like that. Huh? Geothermal pa power plant, we have one in the Albay. What happened is this very high steam that comes out from the ground no, is being conserved as a form of energy. And later on, that will be given off as energy for residential or industry. What we have here as a source of our electric energy is the hydro electrical hydro power plant, hydroelectrical power plant, no, which is found in Maria Cristina Falls. What happened is that's the work of the mechanical engineers were in big turbines, dynamo. Okay. So those dynamo are being used in Maria Cristina Falls, that is the swiftness of the current. No? Due to the swiftness of the current that is being converted into a chemical energy, then later on, it is being used as electrical energy to the different residents and industry. That's energy. Technology. Okay. Way back before, we are still using that kind of, no, kind of bulb. Nga kanang color bitonia, arang kay ka yellow. Now, no more. We are using the LED. That is the light and light emitting diodes. Can you? Claro na kaayo, the white one. Yes, that's the lead. Why? Because it is already transformed into a very no highly element, nga, much clearer. And that is the gallium, the arsenic, and the phosphorus combined together to form into the lead. And that is technology. Okay. Then biochemistry. Biochemistry is very important in intertwined with chemistry because biochemistry is known as the chemistry of life. No? So nowadays they are very infused in getting a vaccine, and that vaccine is yeah, an application of biochemistry, yeah. microbiology with biochemistry because it has something to do with the DNA. Can aun kung applicable banishia or not. No? And that is due to the reaction in the body. Okay, that's biochemistry. For medicine, of course, all of the medicine that we have, it could either be synthetic or traditional. Traditional medicine is the one which is taken from plant. No? <coughs> So the synthetic is the one which is being no, converted into, that is chemicals, converted into a certain medicine. Okay. Application also in medicine, we had also this pesticide, apilponatia. No? So that is why chemistry is known as the central science. It is interconnected with different branches of science and technology. So there are three levels of understanding in chemistry. The macroscopic perspective. Mink agadic macroscopic meaning a bigger, a wider range. Okay. This has something to do with the state of matter. Because we can still see it, that state of matter. It is in a form of solid, liquid, and gas. No? That is why it's so-called macroscopic level. In the macroscopic level, what is important here is knowing the properties of matter. What are the two properties of the matter? That is the physical and the chemical properties. Okay. So how could you distinguish if it is a chemical or a physical properties? Okay. So... Can the property be determined without changing the identity of the substance? Meaning, parihura bagi hapon. Ang na change lang is the face. What are its faces? It's liquid, no? For instance, if you are going to have water, water has three faces. No? The one which is being in place in the refrigerator is a solid, 
then the one which we are drinking is in a liquid phase. If you are going to boil water, so it is converted into hydrogen gas and oxygen gas. It is in a form of gas, but still the composition is hydrogen and oxygen. No? For ice, kanang ice, hydrogen or oxygen or gihapon ang yung composition. That's 79% hydrogen and 21%, oh no, 81%, no? I think 81% of that is Oxygen, uh, oxygen, and eleven and uh, nineteen percent of that is hydrogen. That's it. Same with Japan, but it will be in the different form. Okay, so <coughs> if the identity of the substance is changed, it is a chemical properties. If it's not, it is a physical property. So how could you distinguish it? If the identity of the substance is changed. What happened? What kind of a property it is? Identity. Now, can the property be determined without changing the identity? Kung ma change gani ang identity niya, it's a chemical properties. Kung dili ma change yung identity, is a physical properties. For instance, okay. So if you are going to uh, have that water from solid liquid to gas, okay, that is a way wherein its property is not the substance, okay? Hydrogen or oxygen na gihapon siya. So dili wa mausab ang iyang composition, na? So that is a physical property. So under the physical property, okay, does the property depend on the amount? Amount, meaning kadaghanon, the quantitative. There are two types. That is the qualitative, this will answer what kind. Okay, the quantitative, this will answer how much. Okay, so if and when it will depend on the amount of the substance, if it is yes, Unsang a class a property? It is extensive properties. What are those under extensive? Of course, the mass, the volume, and the weight. But if it will not depend on the amount, that is intensive property. That is density, color, luster, odor, malleability, conductivity, hardness, ductility, boiling point, and melting point. Why? Density is the same. That is why nay mangutana sa inyo, which is denser. O sa kakilong pokpok, pokpok ha? No. Or mga needle, o sa kakilong needle, o duha kakilong, uh, duha, duha kabuok nga needle. O sa kakilong ha? O duha ka needle, which is denser. It's the same. Why? Because it is under intensive properties. It's constant. No? Water has a density of what? It's one. Okay. So one yun siya tanan. Either osara siya kagalun or osaka. So pengani, osaka baril. Its density is the same. Color. Usay color sa water. Daghan o gamay ang water. It's still colorless. Okay. For instance, if you have a metal, no? A small, the bronze, okay. Ang bronze, gamay nga bronze, ug daghan nga bronze, pariyura na siya o luster. What do you mean by luster is how shiny it is. The order the same when you have one, no? Malleability is, will, could, you have it, no? Malleable meaning could turn it into shit. Shit, okay. That's copper wire, pwede man mo siya maana. Oh, that's malleability. Conductivity, will it conduct heat or electricity, hardness, so on, so forth. The boiling point of water, nganong kuan man, nganong intensive property. The boiling point of water, bisag magpabukal mo o osaka takure, no? Or osaka, pangyana ni baril, ang boiling point lang anak niya is parihurag yun. It's 100 degrees centigrade. Okay, or degrees Celsius. That is why it's so called intensive property. 
it will not depend on the amount of the substance. Okay, how about chemical properties? Okay, so can the property be determined without changing the identity of substance? For instance, okay, if you have, no, if you have a uh, paper, if you're going to crumple the paper, what kind of change is that? That is a physical change, okay? But if you're going to burn the paper, that is a chemical change, okay? So under it, no? what is that chemical change? For instance, the gasoline, gasoline, okay? Gasoline has that chemical properties, okay? It will have that reactivity. Ang gasoline, lain lain na siya, gasoline, kerosene, like that, it has different reactivity. It has different flammability. No? So, toxicity has something to do with how, no? how toxic is the substance okay? or how high is its tendency to damage no? the body system that is toxicity ability to oxidize what do you mean by oxidize okay for instance no iron iron the nail iron kanang pangani kanang nail no so if you are going to in place that outside mauwanan siya o ma initan later on after a few days matinga ka magtaay di ba Okay, that is what is meant by it has, that iron has the ability to oxidize. Nga man, it will oxidize with the presence of oxygen and water. No? So the iron there with the presence of oxygen, di man pwede oxidize kung wala oxygen. That is iron, Fe3 plus plus oxygen O2, you will form now a ferric oxide. That ferric oxide is now the rust or the taya. Okay. The ability to oxidize will tend to depend on what? The availability of oxygen. And heat of combustion is unsa kakusog siya mo attract og heat so that is the microscopic in terms of physical and chemical properties how about change okay so you are going to here pila ni kabok 1 2 3 4 5 okay so this will be your assignment you are going to you are going to submit to me that is ang kwenta sa kuan is or you just have it I will upload this in the LMS. Okay, that is our first assignment. You're going to identify which is physical change or chemical change. What's the difference between physical and chemical change? Physical change is a change where in there is no change in the composition. But possibly there will be a change in the face of matter. For instance, as he have said, if you are going to boil water, no, that is a physical change. Why? Because the composition of water before boiling, it's still H2O. But once it is being boiled, what will happen? No, it will turn into gas. Pero unsa composition sa gas? That is still hydrogen and oxygen. Okay? That is a physical change. Crum if you crumple the paper, it's still physical change. Why? What happened? Wala man siya mausab. No? Pero kung ang papel imong tuman, dagkutan, Okay, there is a combustion. Okay, what happened? There is another formation of the product. No? So chemical change is a change wherein there is a new product being formed. Okay, so if you're going to burn the paper, what happened? There is a presence of oxygen. Okay, and your product now is no longer paper. Instead, your product now is in a form of what? In a form of kanang pingan anatawag ana. In a form of abu. 
yes, that's it. So what kind of change is that? That is a chemical change. Okay. Last time, oh, before the pandemic, oh, kulot yung kumubo, akong buhok kulot. Then, because of no, not allowed to have, no, oh, not allowed to have a haircut. So what happened? Wala ko yung nahimo. Nagpataas ko. Oh, pagpataas, nagpa-straight. Okay. What kind of change is that? I'm still Levita. Okay. That kind of change is what? Chemical, physical. Sa akong hair. It's chemical. Nga naman, there is an addition. Pero, more gaya pong hair. Pero there, if and when there is an addition of a substance, okay, that is a chemical change. How will you know if there is a chemical change that will happen, of course, first, there is the change in composition. No? So in the laboratory, what we did is, we can identify physical from chemical change is, no? if there is a presence of bubbles or there is no? an evaporation or formation of gas. Okay, that's the first one that we will know it's a chemical change. The second one is if there is a formation of precipitate. Okay, for instance, hydrochloric acid in a test tube, we add it with magnesium ribbon. Oh, grabe. Ang, there, will be form, there will be bubbles, okay, bubbles. And that is a chemical change, okay. Another thing is, no, baking soda when added with water, mag bubbles siya. Pag human, later on, na ay mulugdang. Okay. Katong nilugdang niya, that is what is meant by precipitate. So first is the formation of bubbles. Second is what? There is a precipitate. Third is there is an evolution of gas. Tay gas magawas. Og ang upat is na ay heat. Paghawid ni mo sa test tube init siya. And what kind of change is that? That is a chemical change. Okay, this will be your assignment. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 items. Okay, so you're going to submit to me this to me tomorrow. We will have again another asynchronous class by next, by Thursday. Okay, so the second level of understanding in chemistry, if we have the macroscopic, the bigger, we have the small unit that is the microscopic or the particulates, particulates perspective. So that is now where atom starts. And atom, no? Composition of this atom are the different elements, okay? Where can we find these different elements? There are 118 of it in the periodic table. Then this is being classified into what? No? Metal, non-metal, okay? Metal, non-metal, and metalloids. There is also, if you talk about non-metal, it could either be in a form of gas. Diba? In group, can you still remember in the periodic table, the group eight are all gases. They are considered as noble gases. Start with xenon, helium, like that. Okay? So that's it. That is a microscopic level. Microscopic, pinakagamay atom, addition of no, two or more atoms are now the compound. Okay? When more than two atoms, pwede pagyapon siya molecule. But when an element combines with another element, it is now a compound. Now that's it. We will have it in our next lesson. So this is makit and panato. If you are going to boil a water in no, in a beaker, we can see the for, for formation of bubbles. This still in the macroscopic makit anato. But using microscope, we can identify no, here. We can view here the 
formation of the atoms into a molecule, but it is in the microscopic level. Okay, so the difference between molecule and a compound, if you talk about molecule, of course, this is the smallest unit of a compound. Smallest unit in a way, na, na mga diatomic atoms. Diatomic atoms are considered as molecule. For, for instance, we have seven, that is O2, H2, N2, I2, F2, Cl2, Br2. They are diatomic. Yeah? And they are already the simplest form of molecule. So the smallest particle of a substance that retains the chemical group are so-called molecule. They are held together by chemical forces. What is this chemical forces? This is known as the chemical bond. Okay. A compound is a combination of two or more elements. But this is being joined together in a fixed ratio okay so if you talk about compound later on i will be uploading how to name a compound huh? naming a compound you have a binary and tertiary ternary or quaternary compounds huh? so that binary meaning from the word two how are you going to name it no, binary meaning when one element combines with another element to form into two elements in a compound that's binary. Ternary meaning how many elements to look at elements. And quaternary, most cases we are using here the, no, the so called polyatomic ions combined with a metal or a non metal. Okay, we have. Five minutes na lang. Uh, oh, nine minutes. Last pa mali. Nine minutes. Okay. Sige pa. Before I will have the attendance again. That is the compound. No? So later on, I will be giving you how to name this compound. Next. So the third level in understanding chemistry is the symbols, symbolic representation. The first is the mic macroscopic, the second one is the microscopic, and the third one, what are you going to study in the macroscopic? Of course, its properties, like now, and its changes, physical or chemical changes. In the microscopic is in the level of atoms and molecules and compounds. In the third level, that is the symbolic representation, meaning the chemical formula or its chemical structure. We name it here. The topic here is the writing of the molecular or the writing of the chemical formula and the naming of the chemical formula. I have already a video for this. Then I will upload this for you to know how to write a chemical compound and at the same time this will serve as a guide for you it's just a review i don't know if we will still have it here okay so that is that's it that is the third level of understanding chemistry because chemistry is a branch of science meaning it deals with scientific method Okay, what are its scientific methods? In most cases, we do this scientific method in the laboratory, but we don't have a face-to-face -face, no, laboratory. So what will happen is later on, you will be grouped and there will be do it your own mga activities. So, kita ninyo sa YouTube, yeah, na, na do it your own. Tapos, if video na ninyo or you are going to have a documentation ka to mauy akong graduhan. Oh, yes, akong graduhan to na ako katong inyong gihimo. In the scientific method, it will start with what? The observation. No? Your curiosity will lead you into to observe something else. No? That is, if you have, that is knowing the problem, no, you will have a problem here. Then under your problem, you will have some observations. Okay. So 
observations has a connotation with experimental view. No? So in your observation, of course, you should have an experimental process. Okay. Then after that, form mo of hypothesis. What is hypothesis? Hypothesis is, can you still remember your SIP, the Science Investigatory Project? Of course, you will start with identifying your problem. Okay, di ba? No. Identify the problem. Then you're going to, after the, identifying your problem, of course, you will have what? The second process here. You should have a method. Mm -hmm. no? Pero kapag identify ni mo's problem, there should be a scientific guess. Nga naman yung hita po man siya. There are two types of hypothesis. The null and the alternative. Okay. In the null hypothesis, this is often used because it's easy to reject. Okay, that, that is, there is no significant difference. That is an example of a hypothesis. And now, there is a significant difference in the application of, for instance, na, uh, in the broiler chick. Okay, broiler chick, for instance. There is a significant difference in the growth performance of broiler chick when, okay, feed with, mm, feed with, uh, feeds. The second one is feed with, mag-feed ka o ka ng, uh, what call this, use ng mga, uh, use nga, food huh? that one and the third one is a combination of feeds and used food okay uh, that is a hypothesis so what will be the next of course you are going to perform an experiment in order that you will have your observation so that you can test your hypothesis. So, how many? Pila man to kabuok? Ay mong variable. Tulo. Ang first, nga ba? The first type of feeds that you are going to have in the broiler chicks is the usual, the feeds. And second one is katong mga hinugas anak. Mm -hmm. Okay. The third one is bisagol tong mga hinugas, mga waste, food waste with feeds. Tulo. Kinsa kahay mas mudako nila. How will you know? How are you going to prove it? You are going to prove it by after 45 days away ni mo. Oh, kinsay mas bugat. Okay. Kinsay mas the diameter. The height and the body mass index. Ang kabugaton. Yeah. That is scientific method. So this three here so, the result there is kinsay mas bugat. That is the result here. Okay. So, actually, this three process here, this will contribute to the body of knowledge. No? So, if you will, as engineers, for instance, you will find a way for civil engineer, no? For instance, for geodetic civil engineer, for instance, no? They will find the best method of mixing, pinaka appropriate, pinaka guapo nga mixture sa cement. Okay. So that should undergo an observation, a hypothesis, and an experiment. Then after that, no, this will contribute to the body of knowledge. And you will have, okay, here, observation. This will become a theory. This will become a law like that. That is the importance of scientific method. Okay? So, what do you mean by precession and accuracy? We talk, if you talk about precession, meaning how closely individual measurements agree with another. But this is not really accurate. It's precise. No? Accuracy is really the true value. For instance, here, take a look here. The dark. Example here, 
of course, ang tulok ka, anong tulok ka, anak? Dart. Okay, the dart, tulok ka, dart. Okay, the dart pointer. If it will pinpoint to the center ang tulok, it has a good accuracy and a good precision. Kani, na? Tulo sila, pariho. Pero tuas taas. The goal there should be at the center. Okay. It is not accurate. It's a pure accuracy. Pero precise siya. Okay, pariho mo siyang tulong at to. No? So it's a good precision. This one, lain-lain. To apikas, to aspikas. It is a pure accuracy and poor precision. So here, we have numbers and measurement. Okay. So, in the numbers of measurement, we are using, can you still remember the metric system or the SI? Okay. So, this SI unit should have, oh, one minute na lang ta. Sige. Uh, open sa inyong, I will stop sharing. Okay. Give me your faces. Uh, ihatag sa akong inyong mga naong. <laughs> Okay, ah, oh, grabe. Ayan si Ryan, oh. Okay. Nga nung gamay raman mo? Asa namang mo ban? One week na ganit ko na-extend ka, wak mag-klase? Oh, kidugay na hatag ang subject na mo. Mm -hmm. Tapos, na-extend pagid mo. Ah, sige. Aha. Proline. Janinyo. Ayun kita ng Janinyo. Oh. Janinyo. Okay. So, mm, let me. Uh, Sorry, get the page down. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, I do it. 